Should I put my candy apron on? I think it looks okay. Well, you, I, you sell white chocolate. Okay. Oh, I just mean because of Linda Spicer's watching. No, it's in the wash. Yeah, sometimes you wear it, sometimes you don't. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Are we ready? Yep, I've been okay. recording the whole time. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you recall from the last video, video chronologically speaking, I was missing my shout-out clipboard. Mm. I was very, very upset by that, but... The reason I was missing my shout-out clipboard is because I had this shout-out paper on my lunch tray. So the clipboard was still here, it just didn't have my shout-out paper on it. So here's my shout-outs. I have a shout-out for Claire Mantel from South Wales, UK. Do you think she could hear you from there? Well, it's a shout-out, isn't it? Yeah, she could probably, she probably okay. just heard you. We already did the Althizer family from Duanesburg, New York, but I don't think mm -hmm. we I remember Charlie Al Althizer was the one who asked for it. Okay. That's what I have written well, down on my phone. Well, the whole family came here. Oh, yeah? From Duanesburg. They came down one evening with a van full of little little people. Mm -hmm. And I think they were their kids. Um, and uh, they just drove down here like for, that's near Rochester, which is mm -hmm. about like two hours from here. Mm -hmm. Hour and a half, two hours. And just they hopped in their van and came down here on a, like a Friday evening. And they, they just came to come here hmm. and get some candy. So we took them downstairs. And they had a little tour. And uh, but, yeah. Was I at work or something? You were. Yeah. Because that would have really sweetened the pot if you'd been mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. And now you have your own phone. So I, you can put stuff I've on Instagram. I've always had a phone, just not a good one. Yeah, well, you have an iPhone now. Yes, it's charging now. So you're, you're so finally can, an adult. I can snap the chat. Yeah. Yes. And inst an Insta the gram. Gram the Insta. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Lila from Dewfield, Virginia. <laughs> Graham from Doncaster, South Yorkshire, England. That's okay. Those are my shout outs. All right. Oh, so I have, oh, now my, now my phone turns off. Okay. Okay. So I have. You, you already said Graham from Doncaster, South Yorkshire, yep. England. You just said it. And Charlie Altizer. Um, earlier today, Ashley Poindexter asked for a shout out, and she said she doesn't have a good reason for asking one for one, but she wants one anyway. You but, don't have to have a reason. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was thinking. <laughs> if you like people yelling at you, <laughs> mm -hmm. Craig's are more of a whisper out, but mine are actual shout outs. All right. So I'm just gonna stop this right now because I can tell from the back of my camera that I picked the wrong card. Dear. And it's gonna like stop recording anyway, so okay. I'm gonna go switch memory cards. Okay. So for all of you who don't know, when you record something, if you have an SD card that's not fast enough, it won't. It'll it'll like try to record to your card, but it won't be able to write fast enough. So then it just stops recording because it can't keep up. So that's what just happened. For anybody who's curious about what exactly I meant, now they know something a little, yeah. little bit more something about making the videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So get a faster SD card is the moral of the story? Yeah, I put one in. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize I put a, a slow one in, but now we're ready. Okay. So you want to talk about shipping? All things shipping. In the springish time? Yep, in the springish okay. time. Right now in the Northeast, it's still kind of cool. So if you want any shipping for Mother's Day, hurry up and do it. <laughs> um, although, to be fair, if you're in the Northeast, there's um, several states that FedEx ships to, which will get your product there in one or two days. So it's still fine to ship in the summer because all you have to do is check off the box that says ship with a cold pack. There's a question mark. Check, click the check box and it's only two bucks. You only need one cold pack. So then that'll get it. As long as it's going to get there in two days, you're good. Now the states where that applies are as follows. New York and New Jersey are one day. Um, I think Connecticut's one day too. Um, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Maine, Ohio, most of Kentucky. Virginia, West Virginia, Michigan, Indiana, most of Illinois, North Carolina, and most of South Carolina. Those states are all going to be two days away, so it's fine to order from there in the summer. Any other states, if you're going to be three days away or farther, you got to do second day air. If, the, if it's going to be hot en route, if it's going to be hot taking a ground route from New York to wherever you are, if it's going to be hot anywhere along the way, it's got to go second day air or it will melt. So that's why within like this next couple days or week, it's yeah. As long as it's cold time. snap, yeah. and all the people are complaining about the cold snap, but we kind of are liking it because look at all the shipping. I yeah, got. <laughs> this is all for Mother's Day. Yeah, but so if take you still want to order, today's Monday. You still have time. Yeah, you know, if you want it for Mother's Day and you're two days away, order by Wednesday. <laughs> and Think we'll ahead. Shipped out because mm -hmm. the UPS um, doesn't deliver on Saturdays. FedEx delivers on Saturday. Sometimes, sometimes they're ground shipping home, but um, sometimes they don't. Um, and I don't think we offer it on our website, so you yeah. want to 
get the two day thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing with uh, FedEx since you signed the contract. It is a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Like if some people haven't gone on the website since we were shipping with UPS, it is a little, it's bit, a little cheaper. bit cheaper. But there's still this weird little glitch that I'm working out between FedEx and my website provider. It's called Shopify. If you shop on a Saturday, the website treats it as if FedEx is picking it up on a Saturday and charges an extra $15 if you have second day air or next day air, which makes the expensive shipping even more expensive. <laughs> but if you shop any of the other six days of the week, it doesn't do that. So if, if you run into that on a Saturday, just shop, just place your order on um, Sunday. Sunday or Monday. Um, and if you happen to, you know, if I happen to notice it, I would refund you. If I happen to notice when I do the actual shipping that it's a big difference, I would just refund you. So it charges you, it says it'll charge you, but it, you know, it, does, it does. It charge charges you. an extra $15 hmm. for a Saturday pickup. So that's between Shopify and FedEx. They're still battling out because Shopify says it's FedEx's fault. FedEx says it's Shopify. Mm-hmm. You see my point here. Yeah. So that's a funny little glitch that we're still working on. But we did just sign another contract with FedEx to make the, to get us a little bit cheaper shipping, but it won't really get a heck of a lot cheaper until we move to a commercial location, which we hope to do about a year or so from now. So we'll see what happens with that. Is there shipping things you wanted to talk about? Mm, international shipping? What's going on with that? Um, I have to add that one country at a time, and I'm still just trying to catch up in the store because yeah. we're still kind of bare. <laughs> we still have some Easter stuff. Yes, we have a little <laughs> bit, but I have to I'm still try to catch up with the whole candy making thing, and then I'm going to um, get with my FedEx rep and see exactly what it is I have to do. And like I said, Canada will be first. Mm-hmm. And then um, I, I believe I add one country at a time. I'd have to find out what their customs regulations are and their mm. rules and all that stuff. It's a whole thing. Yeah, and I'll just go through. I mean, I can see on my website, I can see what countries... Um, people are looking at me from you know looking at our website from and those are obviously the most popular countries that want our candy so those are the ones I'll add first so it'll be you know UK New Zealand Australia um, I don't know how it's all gonna shake out as far as the whole melting thing because yeah, our cold packs only last for two days so that's why around here it's got to go second day air with cold pack so if you can't, if it's not going to get to you in that amount of time, mm-hmm. you might not want to do it. But I mean, we've had somebody from Germany shipped us chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was no winter, but it came fine. Yeah. And somebody from Oregon. I, or Oregon. Is Oregon. That, yeah, that's what I was Oregon. Supposed to say. Somebody Oregon. Somebody said it wrong. I thought I said Oregon. It's Oregon. 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 <laughs> Oregon. Oregon. Anyways, the Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> or- Oregon. Oregon. The Oregon one. Where was I going with this? I uh, I don't know. I'll okay. I'll just break something up. I don't know like how things would ship to the southern hemisphere, just because where it's our winter up here, it'll be their summer, and when it's our summer, so so it's going to be warm somewhere. Yes. And uh, whereas Australia and the, the southern hemisphere. I think so. Yeah. So that's I mean that's why we've always been so reluctant because we, if I'm shipping in the United States, I look at the I go to weather.com, put in the zip code, and see what the weather's going to be along the way. I'm not so good that I can just. Uh, do I'm not it, so good. Do it worldwide. I'm not uh, so good that I can do it worldwide. I have. I don't have control over the route that it takes there, yeah. and it's probably not gonna get there in 48 yeah. hours. Yeah, you can't exactly tell facts. Now make sure you go over here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't determine the route, so I have no way of knowing how it's gonna get there. That's why yeah. I've always been so reluctant to do the. Um, International shipping. Although with Canada, I'm pretty sure it's going to go north. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so with Canada, we're and usually the norther you go, the colder you go. Wow. So that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. Uh, so like, hopefully by like Christmas, people will be able to um, buy a bunch of you know Christmas yeah, type like things in, in Europe and whatnot. And uh, hey, no, no, the UK they're kind of on the same latitude as us, aren't they? Mm, I think they're a little above us. Even colder, even, but you can't really <laughs> tell the pilot how to fly the plane. But it's cold up there, anyways, up yeah. in the atmosphere. It's cold, so mm-hmm. I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah. But yeah. Was there anything else? Uh, just if you want to order for Mother's Day, get going. What are you waiting for? Or for anything weekend? with the next couple of days. Yes. Okay, you don't. Even, this, you don't even have to buy just Mother's Day stuff. You can yeah, buy anything. This, cold, but this, this is a nice little cold snap we're having. Mm-hmm. Other people are complaining. I'm not. Yeah. It was 33 degrees this morning when I went for my walk. Yeah, I'm planning on going for a run today, and like I, th- I think I saw like tomorrow it's supposed to be a high of 47, so I'm pretty pumped about how warm it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>